Weather with Harry Volkman. Brought to you by Commonwealth Edison Company. And now, here's Chicago's professional meteorologist, Harry Volkman. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Del Clark. The weather sometimes will give us fits. And this was one of the worst fits of a weather type to a forecast that I've ever seen. I came out at 5 o'clock tonight with the expectation that we'd have little further snow. Well, it went a lot further than that as far as what de developed. One of the most intense blizzards that I've ever been through occurred here early this evening. Now, this was worse than the January 26th storm while it lasted as far as wind, intensity of snow and blowing, and low temperature. This was really a blizzard. The other one was just a heavy snow because it wasn't cold enough. Well, a lot of these factors aren't so important, but it was a nightmare, a wild nightmare on those expressways for a while tonight. I was out there two hours myself, so I'm not one that's just talking about it looking through a window from a warm studio, although I am now, fortunately. But it's improved a lot outside. Now, what has happened is very intense whirlpool right over Chicago. It was a low over us. It was a low in the upper level. It was a giant pillar of rotating air, almost something biblical, you think, here. Arctic cold came in and caused a very intense, rapid condensation of moisture coming off the lake. And there was this intense lifting, convection currents, everything you want to call it, that caused a very intense development of snow that fell directly down. And then, of course, the winds took it and just whooshed it right across the city in this whirlpool of air. And you can't get much worse than that here or anywhere. The wind is out of the west-northwest at around 40 miles an hour still over the mart. We've had gusts up to 60 and they've diminished to an average speed at midway at 10 o'clock of 18 miles an hour. The visibility is still only a half mile at midway, and the temperature uh, ranges now from 13 in the loop on down to, uh, well, 12 at O'Hare and up as high as 15 at DuPage County. Now, we have a relative humidity of 64% as the snow tapers off, and the barometer has been rising rapidly, indicating again the slamming nature of the cold air. It has come in like a wall. <laughs> And it pushed the warm air and the moisture, what little, little there was of it, up rapidly. Now, the snow was 4.9 inches at midway, between about 6.30 and 9. And the season's total now is 58.4 inches, only about 8 inches short of a record snowfall for any one season in the city of Chicago, a record that has stood since 1951 and 52. We'll take a brief look at the national picture and how the weather shapes up for the weekend right after this message. Electricity, cause that's the day you know Than it did many long years ago Just a minute, little Bill More? Yeah? You say electricity costs less today cause rates are going down? True, ma'am. Electricity is a bigger bargain than ever Then how come my electric bill doesn't go down? It's because you're using more electricity And enjoying it more Look at the things you use an electric frying pan and an isolating fan and the thing that opens can an all-electric garbage man a dryer a washer a color tv set a toaster freezer radios what did we forget percolator vacuum cleaner new rotisserie keep your living much better electrically they forgot my electric hair dryer you're living much better electrically Right on the heels of this snow that's moving out now, and it has cleared at Milwaukee, and the snow has just about stopped now at Rockford, is sub-zero weather. It's down to zero now, right almost to the corner of the state, across northern Iowa, western Wisconsin, 10 below here in the Twin Cities. The sub-zero weather will move all the way down behind the clearing into Chicago by morning, and now they've got a revised forecast on temperature of 10 to 20 below tomorrow night. Here's the storm. It's a tight one, small, intense whirl moving off east. It will affect northern Indiana and Ohio tomorrow morning and Pennsylvania and then into New York State, where they're just now getting out of the blizzard they had today. And clear cold weather moving in from the plains is going to be with us for the weekend. Portland, Maine had 12 inches of snow in six hours today, more than we had tonight. Tonight, snow flurries, windy and colder, low 5 to 10 below, no further significant accumulations expected. While northwest winds 30 to 40 miles per hour, diminishing slowly, some gusts to 50. Mostly sunny, windy, very cold Friday with high 10 to 15, northwest 18 to 26 mile an hour winds. Friday night fair and very cold, low 10 to 20 below zero. Saturday fair with moderating temperatures in the afternoon, and that's the weather for Commonwealth Edison. <laughs> 